okay, this 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 is not what we're going for. We're we're not Oh gosh, that's very waxy. Um very waxy residue. We don't want sunscreen that does that. But in terms of okay, yeah, it's like literally reflecting. I don't even know. Is that a white cast? What the bats? Okay, that was not a good idea. Hi there, my name is Sandy Esprit and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to give you guys the rundown on some of the SPFs that I have been using and loving lately. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, comment, engage, press like, share with your friends, and honestly I just hope that I can help someone pick out the right sunscreen, the right SPF that suits your lifestyle and that generally you like because if you like it, you'll keep using it. You know, so I know pers from speaking from personal experience, the struggle really is finding that sunscreen, that SPF that does what, what you want it to, which is to keep you from burning, to keep your skin from drying out, to keep you from breaking out, and ultimately to keep you from looking casket ready. <laughs> Nobody wants that white cast, the dreaded um, ashiness, gray tinge tone. We're over it, we're done with it. And whether you're living up north or down south, whether you're in Canada or on a sunny beach somewhere, listen, if that's your struggle, I got you. I made notes, I got my um products we'll just go ahead and get into it i'll do some demonstration that's what my face is bare just so that i could actually show you guys what it is okay so one of so again these are things i use on the regular and so um i'm sharing y'all i'm spilling the tea this is the updated spf um vlog for starters I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be reviewing and, app, and applying actually the Riversol um, Lightweight Broad Spectrum Sunscreen and this is SPF 30 and it is in shade 200. This was gifted to me by Riversol and this is a Canadian and dermatologist founded brand. It is a mineral SPF and it comes in three shades. There's untinted, shade 100 and shade 200. Shade 200 is the darkest shade, which is unfortunate because I find that this shade is a few shades darker than my actual complexion. So in terms of shade range, I feel like there is more work to be done, but I have to give it to them because it is a mineral sunscreen and mineral sunscreen, especially tinted mineral sunscreen, have a tendency to have that gray cast, that white cast, and this one does not. So this guy here comes with UVA and UVB protection. It's deeply hydrating. I'm gonna give you guys, uh, I'm gonna put a dollop on my hand here. I personally use it for tinted, as a tinted um, foundation, it, it's, it just applies beautifully. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my face right now because I feel like putting it on my hand does not do it justice. So I have this here that I'm just gonna apply on my skin. This applies very thick, very thick. Put some here. Making sure that I have some all over my face. I'll just put this here. Okay, so I'm, it's on my face. I've put all the little drops. I'm gonna go ahead and start rubbing it in. Now, it does require work. It really does require me to rub it in over and over again. It can come off a bit tacky. Like you really need to warm it up before you get the coverage, but you can see that it really, really tends to blend and provide that coverage. Now, the website says sheer coverage. I find that the coverage is pretty thick, in my opinion. It 
has a tendency to come off a bit orangey because it is too dark for me. So it's best to use it with a um, concealer kind of just to lighten it up. So as you can see, my face is now orange. It is dark. It definitely is darker than I, my actual complexion. So I do have to play up with it in terms of, you know, wearing concealer. And I'll show you how I do my face when I do wear it. But it is an awesome um, substitute for a tinted moisturizer or that lightweight foundation when I'm trying to skip a step or two. <laughs> so I'm going to come back with my face done looking less orangey. Okay, so I'm back. I've used the River Soul Tinted SPF as my foundation and built it, used the concealer to balance out and <laughs> so that my face actually looks like my face and that my the complexion of my face matches the complexion of my body. Now, what, other than the fact that I can substitute my foundation or a tinted moisturizer for this SPF, one of the things that I love is that it is a mineral sunscreen without the white cast. This does not give gray definition. It does not give ashy filter. It actually gives pigment and it is pigmented. Um, the website does say that it is. it gives a sheer or a lightweight coverage. Personally, I feel like it's more on the medium to medium to a full coverage. It's definitely buildable. It does require some work. It is it's hydrating for sure. This thing is it, it applies beautifully on the skin. It stays on. It can feel a little tacky if you're not used to tinted SPF, it can feel weird at first. If you're expecting this thing to go on like a lotion, like you just go ahead and put it in and that's it, you're going to be thrown off. You really want to rub it in. You want to warm up that tinted SPF. You really want to work it into the skin and then you're going to get that lightweight feel foundation with a medium coverage. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so this cover, this uh, tinted SPF, is designed for daily wear. This is something you can wear every day. Um, it has antioxidants, vitamin C and E in there as well as, let me see if I can say this right. I, I printed it off in beta thuja plicin. River salt, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but these antioxidants are definitely necessary when we're dealing with SPF. And I love that this sunscreen actually has antioxidants because we know that it is not only great for the production of collagen but it also fights against the sun's uv rays right so it's i thought that was amazing and it helps to reduce the look of hyperpigmentation so overall this tinted spf is awesome because it's a mineral spf what it means is that it actually blocks the rays from entering your skin, whereas a chemical sunscreen tends to um, absorb the rays and disperse it. Mineral just acts as a, a block, and I love that. I love the fact, again, no white cast. Amazing. So the cost is $39. You can get it online. I will have the link down in the captions below. Click it, and yeah, you, like, look. The only thing I will say that's kind of a con is the fact that it, um, there's only two shades available. 100, there's untinted, well, three. Untinted, 100, and 200. So if it's not your exact match, you are gonna have to play around with the shade to get your desired complexion look. But you can, I mean, you can mix it with any, with a concealer or you can use it with a, um, I know they have like these shade correctors that some brands sell. Like this is my skin now and no foundation necessary, just the tinted SPF. Can't go wrong with that. All right, next on my list is the Aveeno. This is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate SPF 50 Face Moisturizing Sunscreen and it is 13, I actually got this for $13.37 at Walmart. It was on sale and this is, it provides you with a, so this SPF here provides you with broad spectrum, so 
covers UVA, UVB rays, SPF 50, and it's really moisturizing. You can get it at any drugstore. And it's oxybenzone free. So if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, this is a really good uh, SPF and it doesn't have oxybenzone, which is great. So this is one of their newest uh, face specific formulation and it is water and sweat resistant. So if you're at the beach, this is great. And again, it will not leave your casket ready. There is no um, ashiness that comes with it. This is what it looks like. Very fluid, very liquidy. And this is a face, again, this is the face SPF. And I was actually um, influenced by Latoya Blackest if you follow her on Instagram, TikTok, or Pinterest. So when you rub it in, this is what you get there. Sheen, it has this lightweight feel to it. The texture is very, um, very lightweight. Absorbs very quickly into the skin. There is no residue. I love that it is oil free. It's water resistant. It's sweat resistant. I can go to the beach, put it on. There is no, again, nothing. You get no um, ashiness, no white cast, and it, it's not comedogenic. So you're not going to get any clogged pores from it. Um, and it's oxybenzone free once again, which I'm breastfeeding. If you're a mama and you're breastfeeding or you're pregnant and you're looking for a good SPF for your face that you can get anywhere, Avino. You know, I mean, and you can get it again, 1337. I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. The active ingredient, since it doesn't have oxybenzone is I gotta read. I gotta read this. Homosalate, which is thirteen point five percent, octocrylene, octisalate, and avobenzone. So those are what's. I don't know what that is. So those would be the active in, in, uh, ingredients that would replace the oxybenzone, um, so that it would react. It would act as a sunscreen that would make it the SPF. Oh, and I forgot to add. So for the Riversol SPF, the active ingredient is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, which for me was a shocker because typically when you have an SPF with either of those guys, it's casket ready time, but not with this guy. And so this one again, oxybenzone free and I love it. It's amazing. Um, thank you Latoya for reviewing it on your TikTok. I will put the link for her review. She um, has a different complexion than I do and her her review sold me. I was like, I'm, I'm good. I'm game. I, I, yeah, let's go. So yeah, amazing, 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 amazing stuff. Last but not least is my Neutrogena. I know, okay. So this, I clearly have been carrying it, traveling with it for a while now. This, unfortunately, is no longer available. So, and this is the Neutrogena um, Ultra Sheer Face was it ultra sheer face mist sunscreen SPF 50 and this was really good I love the fact that it was a spray I'll show you okay hold on let's see here how can I do this there you go so that's what it would come as and then you could and that's it it was oil free non comedogenic um, face mist and it was a sunscreen SPF 50 loved it oxybenzone free um it's super easy to use I use it when I go out so I'm not like to reapply especially if I'm wearing makeup I can spray it on my face no problem and that's it I just spray it on my face to reapply it kind of gives me that shield from the sun and again it's SPF 50 I can apply it on top of my makeup oil free non comedogenic it it's, has this really weightless feel to it. It doesn't feel like you're putting anything on. Um, what else? And it protects your skin from heart, the, the UVA and UVB rays. Again, oxybenzone free, which I love because I was pregnant all of last year. It was one of those things I, I used. Now, the face mist is no longer available, but the body spray is. Now, this one is SPF 50. I think SPF 55 is still available. Um, I'm just not sure if it's available in Canada and US or just the US. 
However, I know that the body mist is very much available. You can still get it. It's great to apply on your skin. No white cast, no ashiness, no gray residue, and you're just, it, it's available like anywhere. Any drugstore, you're going to be able to find the body mist, the face mist, not so much, but I mean, you can use it on your face, put it on your hands if you want to. I mean, I know there's like this thing about like, oh, body versus face, but to be honest, if it's the same thing. The ingredients are the same for me as I, like, you can use it on your face as well. So, um, yeah, so that is my spiel on SPF. You definitely, definitely, definitely want to use SPF and you want to have an antioxidant that is a part of your skincare routine. Um, I cannot stress this enough. SPF is essential if you're outside as well as if you're inside your house. The rays still penetrate through the windows. I mean, the sun's not gonna, the rays don't get blocked by the windows. You definitely want to keep wearing SPF, decreasing your chances of, you know, having those harmful rays hit your skin and giving you unwanted illnesses. So decrease your chance, especially of skin cancers, those skin melanomas, we don't want them. Wear your SPF um, and your skin will thank you for it. It is the largest organ in your body. You want to, we want to protect our skin. It is the first line of defense when it comes to toxins and that includes those rays. So wear your SPF. I've given you three choices, okay? You have three choices to choose from <laughs> that, you know, will give you enough um, options. One for your makeup, if you wanna wear, you're trying to skip a step, you're in a hurry. The Zervisol Tinted Moisturizer, the Tinted SPF, sorry. Um, and then if you're just going out for a day, you don't feel like wearing no makeup or you just wanna take that extra step, the Aveeno Hydrate and Protect is just amazing. And then for your application or if you just need something to put in your purse so that you can just, oh, I'm out, I forgot, spritz, spritz, keep it moving. The Neutrogena is amazing for that. So I hope you enjoyed um, this, my spiel on the SPF. And I hope I've convinced you to start wearing SPF. And so uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click that like, subscribe button. And if there is an SPF that you feel that I should have included in my list, but I did not, put it in the chat below and uh, or in the comment section. And I will definitely try it out, review it for you guys. Um, share with a friend and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.